ventilation of an apneic patient. I have my gloves, proper PPE, including face shield or goggles. Approach the patient, hey, hey, are you okay? He's unresponsive. I'm gonna send my partner to get assistance to get the airway bag. I'm now gonna check for a pulse and check breathing. He is not breathing, but has a pulse of approximately 60. So I'm gonna use a cross finger technique and open up his airway. I notice vomit in the airway, so I'm gonna turn on my suction to approximately 120. I will cover the port and test for suction. I have suction. Without the port being covered, I will insert it. I do not have suction at this time. Cover the port and begin suctioning the airway. I will suction for no more than 15 seconds and only suction what I can see. The airway is now clear. At this time, I will take the appropriate sized OPA, going from the angle of the jaw to the corner of the mouth, insert it 90 degrees to 180 degrees upside down, get past the tongue and insert it and let it rest at the lips. Using an EC technique, I will then begin to ventilate my patient looking for chest rods. Right. Two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Noting good chest rise. I will then attach it very quickly to oxygen, setting it at 15 liters per minute, and continue to ventilate the patient one breath every five to six seconds at 15 liters per minute. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. I will recheck the pulse to make sure I have a carotid pulse. I still have a carotid pulse. And I will continue to ventilate at one breath every five to six seconds.